Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I make astrology videos here on YouTube. So today I'm doing a video that I haven't done in years. It's one of the OG videos that I have on my YouTube channel, but I feel like it's been like six years since I've done one of these and I have a whole new updated list. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite to least favorite sign in order as a list. I'm about to hurt some feelings. You have been warned. If you're sensitive, like a cancer, click off of this video. If you're very defensive, like a Libra, click off of this video or leave me hate in the comments down below. <laughs> so I am gonna get into my list and I'm gonna spill all the tea, but I'm gonna do that just in a second, right after a word from our sponsor, Keen. If you have not heard of Keen, I'm about to put you on. Keen is a website that gives you access to so many different types of psychics, clairvoyants, tarot readers, spiritual advisors, and so much more. If you're somebody that just needs some answers outside of yourself, Keen is the perfect place for you. If you're trying to figure out if you should break up with your partner, quit your job, make the move, whatever it may be, and you just need a little push or a little guidance, Keen will give you all the answers you need if you just find the right advisor for you, which is so easy. You literally just have to scroll through the website, check out some reviews, find who's best suited to you, and book your call. Which, by the way, with my link is only $1 for five minutes. It honestly doesn't get better than that. It's super easy to start. Literally, all you have to do is click the link, make an account. To be honest, I don't really know why they're offering you this deal, but like, use it while you can, okay? Are they your soulmate? Are they cheating? Is it your twin flame? Find out. I do vouch for them and I definitely recommend you try them out. Just click the link down below and thank you to Keen for sponsoring this video. All right, so now that you heard a little bit about Keen, let's get right into the video. All right, top of the list, we're starting off strong. If you guys recall, I don't know if you do, but my top list, I forget, but I think my top three used to be Sagittarius, Virgo, and Libra. And my bottom used to be Scorpio, Capricorn, and Leo. Things have changed. We're gonna start off with number one on the list, my favorite sign at the moment, Capricorn. Um, Capricorns, I fucking hate Capricorns. They are miserable. They are no fun. They're socially awkward. I'm embarrassed about the way that my opinion has changed. I wish I could stand strong in the beliefs that I used to have um, just for the sake of my pride, but we don't do that over here. I am a human and I grow and I change and so do my opinions and I really like Capricorns now. Don't get me wrong, a part of me still believes all the things that I used to say. I do think they're selfish. I do think they only care about themselves. I do think that they have a lot of issues. But I just, I think ever since I discovered that half of my zodiac chart is Capricorn and I was like, Oh, I think I just see the parts of myself that I don't like in them and that's why I hate them so much. Once I unpacked that, I learned to love them in the same ways that I learned to love myself in many ways. So yeah, I just really get along with them. Like, I think they're one of the funniest signs I know. Every single time I meet someone and I vibe with them and I just think they're like hilarious and we just like click and I'm just like, oh, you're like me. Like, I get you. I discovered their sign is Capricorn. Like, all my favorite coworkers have been Capricorns in the past couple years. My past? No. Hated them. One of my closest friends for the past couple years, Capricorn. Um, another close friend of mine, Capricorn. I just, I get you guys, you know? You guys are cool and you guys are funny. But, but, I don't enjoy a Capricorn that is unevolved or one that doesn't like me because you guys are not fun to be around. You guys are quite mean. And you guys are very mean, even the ones I like, you guys can be very mean, and I really don't like that side of you. And it, it's hard sometimes to deal with you guys because you're such robotic humans, but yeah, you guys are number one. You guys used to be at the bottom of the bottom and now you're in the top, so I hope you're happy. Number two, Sagittarius. Okay, that's like on par with my previous list. I think you guys are really fun, easy to get along with. You guys are so loyal. Like you guys are ride or dies. You remember the little things. It, you're so thoughtful, you're so sweet, and yeah, I just really like Sag, and you guys are fun, like you guys are a good time. I don't think you're like the funniest zodiac sign, but I do get your humor and I do laugh when I'm with you. I like you guys, I think you guys are cool, and yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend, eh, 8 out of 10 would recommend, you guys are fun. I just don't like when you guys get really emotional and sensitive. That's when I'm just kinda like, I don't have the energy for this. 
I don't. Libra is number three. Yeah, you guys are cool. I think that I like you guys because you're such open books and I click with you right away because you guys are so easy to talk to. I feel like there aren't many awkward moments around a Libra because you guys make it such a safe and open space. You guys will tell me all about your business within moments of meeting you. You don't hold back, you're not shy. Yeah, you guys are really cool, open-minded. I really like you guys. I think that there are some of you that I think are really vain and I don't like that aspect of you guys, but for the most part, I don't know. I just like, I get along with you guys. We can talk for hours. Yeah, I do appreciate the company of a Libra. Like if I were to get stuck in an elevator with a Zodiac sign, uh, no, they, they complain too much actually. Now nah, you guys are whiners. I think it'd be Capricorn because at least I would laugh and you guys would like come up with a solution. But like, we're not talking about Capricorns right now. We're talking about Libras. Um, yeah, you guys are chatty. Like a car ride would be really fun with you. It'd be really fun. My best friend is a Libra. We've been best friends for like 15 years or something. I've lost count of the years. It's been a long time and we never fight. We fight like once every five years or something. Like we do not fight. It's just too easy with us. My eyes twitching. What does that mean? Number four, Scorpio. The shit I used to talk about Scorpios on this channel is insane. If you know me, if you know my channel, you know how I feel about Scorpios. You guys are the devil. <laughs> just kidding. Scorpios are a nightmare. They are number four on my list now. One of my closest friends is a Scorpio. She's somebody that had scorned me in the past. Not really, but that's how I felt in my younger years. So I think I projected a lot of that in the way I might've spoken about Scorpios because our experience with each other was as teenagers. So it was just like not the best. So yeah, I think between her and my sister and my, love you my overbearing aunt and another negative experience i had with scorpio i just projected it and i i really felt what i said at the time was how i felt and i don't take it back but i've changed my mind and i love you guys you guys are so sweet and so loyal and so fun and so easy to talk to and you guys give great advice and you care and you're attentive and you're you love so hard i feel like scorpios like they love so hard and I feel like it's in such a real way like Pisces they don't love the way Scorpios do because I feel like Pisces is a lot of delusional love infatuation but a Scorpio it's like that true love that's just like you can feel the way that they love everything around them and everyone around them I've never actually been in love with a Scorpio or dated I've never dated a Scorpio but I feel like if I did it'd be like the love of a lifetime but I don't know if I want to date one though I don't know if I love you guys that much <laughs> Gemini you guys are so just so cool you guys are so cool you know I used to talk a lot of shit about you guys too you guys annoy me sometimes and I don't always feel comfortable around you but I really like you guys I think that you're another sign that's just like effortless conversation and you're funny you care not all the time but you care and you guys are down for anything like anything I feel like I could be like oh do you want to go do this yeah let's do it do you want to do this yeah let's do it but you guys are always busy I think because you're social butterfly so you have so many friends so yeah that kind of sucks but i do think you guys are really dope and i'm an air sign you're an air sign so we go together we go together so i like you guys number six is aries um okay they're number six because i don't have a strong opinion on aries like you're not in my top favorites at all but you're also not in the bottom you're just kind of there like i find that i can't connect to aries like we vibe and we're we feel compatible but it's like there's always this wall that doesn't allow us to get really close to each other because i think that you guys are so you guys are so into yourselves and not in like an egotistical way like it's not a bad thing i just feel like you always have your own back at the end of the day like you're kind of selfish so i feel like i can't rely on aries that much i've had a really like amazing loyal aries friend before i have gotten close to two aries in my life one of them I've actually been friends with, like really close friends since we were like five or something. I've known her for like my whole life. Like we've been friends for like 20 years and we've definitely broken that barrier. Another one I had broken the barrier with too, but we're no longer friends. Um, but I just can't connect to you guys for some reason. But I, I like you, I just can't connect to you. So you guys are like just dead middle of the list. Number seven is Aquarius. That's my sign. And I know we say we're the best sign, we're not. We're not the best sign. We're quite mediocre. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we're really interesting. We are such interesting people. 
very unique and I always admire Aquarius, but I don't know, we're just kind of like annoying. Like we're really weird and we're kind of distant emotionally. So I can't emotionally connect to a lot of Aquarius. I've only emotionally connected to one and we were really close friends for like a year or two and we had a falling out and I still think of her. I still like, I still think of her and I'm like, damn, like it's too bad that friendship faded because it was a really beautiful friendship but I don't think she cares about it <laughs> like because Aquarius are cold and I don't know maybe I'm just like a really emotional sensitive Aquarius because I, I actually think of her often but um <laughs> I don't think it's mutual so yeah I feel like you got to be really strong to be friends with an Aquarius because we are we have a hard time of showing you that we love you and that's important for me in a friendship and uh, yeah, I think that's why like me and most Aquarius don't like get that close, but we always get each other Like I vibe with Aquarius like I do but I think that I never have enough time spent with them to really fully like embrace them So I do love the sign Aquarius. I don't mean to put it like closer to the bottom of the list I just feel like there are other signs that I like better. So they just so happen to be like lower But I do love my sign like I love being an Aquarius. I wouldn't want to be any other sign Actually, I wouldn't mind being a confident Aries or magnetic Scorpio, but I do love being an Aquarius and I wouldn't change that. I think we're really cool and I think that we're multi-dimensional and we're just so interesting. I think we're so interesting. Taurus, you're number eight. Mm, don't really care about you guys. I don't hate you, don't dislike you, don't love you, don't really like you that much. I don't, you're just there, you know? Uh, you're funny. I think you're really funny. I think that you're super thoughtful. Oh my God, Taurus are so thoughtful. Like the most thoughtful sign I feel. Like you guys in Sag, oh wow. Like you remember the little things, your, your gifts are thoughtful. You guys are sweethearts, but I find you quite boring personally and quite sensitive. Um, I don't know if I could date a Taurus. I would love to date a Taurus. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. But like, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could, um, but you guys are, yeah, kind of boring. Sorry. Number nine is Virgo. So here's the thing. I really enjoy the company of a Virgo and I think you guys are super fun and talented and an amazing sign, but I don't think we're compatible and I've only ever had negative experiences with Virgos. Like every single time somebody has done me dirty, it's actually always been a Virgo and I've always really gravitated towards you guys. I think because my moon is in Virgo, so... I just I draw you guys in and we get so close so fast like I've had like four Virgo best friends and we got close within like days and inseparable even and then they just do me so dirty that I can't continue the friendship and I've had to break up with all of them and it's really disappointing because I think you guys are awesome but uh, you're sneaky and I've had a Virgo try to steal from me and I've had a Virgo try to take my man and I've had a like I'm just like yeah, and I had Virgo X as well. That was not a good relationship at all. And yeah, I guess you gotta be at the bottom. I really tried with you guys, but you just let me down all the time. But you guys are so fun and so cool. And yeah, I, I like you guys, but I don't like you guys. Number 10 is Pisces. You guys just annoy me. <laughs> like, I think you're so fun and sweet, but you're so delusional. You're so delusional sometimes. And like Pisces are amazing, but I've always had Pisces like neglect me when they get in relationships. That happens all the time. I've had like four Pisces do that. You guys don't all do that for sure. A lot of you guys are good at balancing, but like I've had like four Pisces just like neglect me when they get in a relationship. Um, and I've also had Pisces get very defensive with me and you guys are just all over the place and it's really hard to keep up with you. And you guys are very forgetful, so I feel like I never matter in the relationships and friendships. Like, I just feel like I don't matter because you're so chaotic that you're just kind of like, it's hard for you to focus on, on the people around you unless they're like your inner, inner, inner circle. And I don't often find myself in a Pisces inner, inner circle, so I don't expect them to prioritize me. But yeah, I think you guys are just a lot and I have one two close Pisces friends and I love them so much I love them but it's just hard for me to connect with them for the most part not them yeah just not my fave not my favorite sorry about that okay number 11 Leo I know 
I know you thought you were number 12, but you're not at the bottom of the list this time. You are number 11. The reason why you're number 11 is because there's a sign that I dislike more than you. But if there wasn't, you would, sorry, that's unnecessarily <laughs> rude. Uh, yeah, don't like you guys. I think you're fun. I think you're attractive. I think you're the life of the party. But um, yeah, I don't like you guys. I think that we're just not compatible. And I find that most Leos don't like Aquarius. So it's okay. If the feeling's mutual, I get it. I totally get it. We're opposites. Um, yeah, you guys are just like really egotistical and all that. All the stereotypical things about the Leo. I don't want to like put you down like I always do. Um, but yeah, no, not a fan. I get along better with the men than the women, I find. I just don't like people that need attention all the time. I just cringe and I'm just like, ugh, like, ugh, please. And it's not coming from a jealous place. It's coming from just like, uh, just like a, just chill place. You know what I mean? Just relax, chill. <laughs> like, that's just how I feel when I'm around a Leo all the time. I'm just like, you are doing the absolute most and you don't need to do that. That's, that's my inner dialogue all the time. So yeah, Leos are not my favorite clearly, but they're not my least favorite. So there's that. My least favorite, however, I do have one of those, and that is the Cancer at number 12. I cannot stand you guys. I, I, I just, oh my god. Wow, you know, like I just, you guys are so temperamental and so sensitive and you just like so irrational and so manipulative and so toxic. I'm just, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. I cannot stand cancers. Like, I just think that you guys are so mean and you mask your insecurities as being mean and you bully and you manipulate and you get sensitive and you can't have a rational conversation with you because you just get defensive and you blow up and it's like, I'm just trying to talk to you. Like, I cannot deal with cancers. We are so incompatible. We are so incompatible. And I remember that I used to think that my rising sign was cancer and I was like, that doesn't really make sense. Oh, update, my rising sign is Leo. I know, Leo which honestly makes more sense to me than cancer because cancer, I was always like, huh? Like I tried to justify it. It's like, oh, that's why I seem like I'm quiet. But like, yeah, cancers are not the vibe, man. Like I just don't, I, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like to partake in conversations with you guys. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I feel so passionately. Like I'd love to sit here and be like, you know, like if somebody had to be at the bottom, like it's nothing personal. It's very personal. It is very personal. I do not like you guys one bit and I'm so sorry. Ah, you know what, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> And that was gonna be when people press thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. That's okay. Let me know how you feel in the comments down below. If you wanna clap back at me and tell me how much you hate Aquarius, you have every right to do so. You know why? Because everyone is entitled to their own opinions and not everybody's gonna like everybody and that has nothing to do with who you are as a person. I don't want you to think that Cancers or Leos or who was that the one, Virgo? Or Pisces and Virgo. I don't want you guys to think that you're unlikable. That is not the case at all. I just don't like you but there's many people who don't like me, right? So do not take it personally. I'm not speaking to you directly. You might be a wonderful Cancer or a wonderful Leo. Those exist, not in my world, but they do exist. I just haven't come across many of them. So don't take it personally. Just watch the video, keep it pushing. Um, feel free to send hate or love in the comments down below, but that wraps up my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your list down below. I want to see your list. Rank your favorite to least favorite. And if you're feeling real spicy, let me know why. I'd love to know. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out Keen if you want to get your reading for $1.99. The link is down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.